Uh, here's a here's a here's a um, here's a cynical one. Number six. This movement is looking more like a religion by the day. We have no evidence that this works, and everyone accepts it on faith alone. It has never been tested, and individual thinking is discouraged as you don't want anybody doing any activism under the Zeitgeist name because you're looking at the big picture and you want to start with education and creating awareness first which basically consists of pros- proselytizing people to your movies and the movement. What is your response to this? All right, that's a very narrow question. Let me kind of go point by point. Uh, you state that the movement looks like a religion. It's a based on faith and it's never been tested. Well, first of all, I'm just going to call out that it's cute. You call it a religion. I love how every time a new group comes around that's interested in something, the first knee-jerk reaction, the first knee-jerk debasing reaction comes in the form of calling it a cult or religion. Uh, this is something that we'll continually get. Of course, it's powerfully idiotic to uh, think of it, it that way because, first of all, all religions and all cults have, a, by definition, have an attribute that isn't tangible, usually theistic-oriented, the cult of equinoctial Christology, Christianity, uh, Scientology. With the, with, I'm not even going to go through the list, but what we're talking about is proven methods that can be put together in a systems approach and used as a whole to make life better for people. Um, as far as, you know, has it been tested? Uh, every attribute that we talk about isn't new. We're basing everything on simple proven methodologies. Um, I wish you could be more specific on what attribute uh, you think is not been tested. The only thing that I would say hasn't been, quote, tested is the is the systems implementation in the city system, which, again, as you might know, we've been talking about for a while. We want to build a test city to experiment with certain things and also show the public what can be done. One thing we do know is that we have to have a systems approach to the planet. There's no testing required to understand that. The systems approach to the planet is the only way you can understand what the Earth has and how to use it. As I denoted in my lecture in Iowa, Part 2, Planet Earth, excuse me, that's what uh, Project Earth, excuse me. I go through the simple logic that unfolds the need for the system we need to employ. It has nothing to do with testing because we know this can be done. I've even given examples of Hewlett Packard that has a, quote, central nervous system concept they want to implement with sensors, ubiquitous sensors all along the planet for various environmental reasons. There's no reason that can't be expanded to include everything in some form with redundancy going into a central system that is v- visible to everyone. There's no reason for secrecy. So let me go back to your question. Yeah, I'm just going to have to ask you if you are listening, if you say it's never been tested, I, you have to be more specific because a resource-based economy is based on a combination of attributes, a systems approach, resource management, the use of technological development for automation to, to displace labor deliberately. Why? Not only because it frees humanity, but because we know statistically, <coughs> statistically that the more automation, the more mechanization in every field, the better progress, the more progress is generated. This isn't just some idea. This has been proven. So the only variable question mark has to do with where we might go with, sent- with artificial intelligence in a more constructive way. And that's uh, really not even necessary to consider. Systems approach, resource management, all there is is energy, materials, and human ingenuity in the mind. The other attribute is education. We've got to get people educated out of the current value system so they understand their relationship to the environment, so they can focus their energy on things that actually matter, that have a social relevance or a personal relevance, not going into a nine-to-five. So I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. So please be specific next time you want to ask uh, such a narrow question.